Welcome to Wilson State Park. Wilson State Park is located right in Harrison, Michigan, which is in the middle of the mitten. Approximately here. <laughs> Approximately there. Um, it is a very small state park. I think it's 36 acres. Mm -hmm. There is a campground here and a small lake, and that's about it. Yeah, the lake itself is actually really large. It's Bud Lake in the middle of Harrison, and it's mostly for the residents who live around the lake. So a lot of private homes surrounding it, but the beach front that's from the park perspective is super tiny. Like there's hardly any frontage on the beach, at, uh, the water at all. For the state park, For right? the state park, yeah. Yeah, there's just not a lot here. Um, there's 160. Approximately campsites. campsites. About 160 campsites. Um, it's another one of those parks where it's, it's right by the main road uh, with your first row of campsites. So that's something to think about in terms of noise. And across that road is the Clare County Fairgrounds. So. And at different times of the year, there's drag racing or other things going on there. So you might want to check the schedule uh, just to see what you might be contending with for noise or traffic right across the road. If, yeah, if you're not here for whatever's going on at the fairgrounds, <laughs> you might not want to be on that first row. But it's right by the road. And then it's sort of the, the whole campground is sort of stepped up. So there are levels of campsites where you kind of keep going up the hill and hill is the key word here also because it is uh the terrain really goes up and down uh, there's not a lot of level sites and we've noticed quite a few people are up on a number of wooden blocks, wood trying, blocks yeah. trying to get their their levelers to to keep them level and i noticed that some of the sites are pretty small we watched a couple motorhomes class a's trying to maneuver in and out of their site and it's gonna take you a 20 point maneuver in some cases to get around the trees, the fire pit and, and in, into and out of your site. Yeah, there are a good number of trees still here in the campground. So there's some shade in, in the summertime, that kind of thing. But when you're trying to maneuver on the roads, which are kind of narrow in and out of those campsites, some are which are a little bit smaller, it's going to be a little tricky for some folks, depending on the size of your rig. Well, we didn't stay at Wilson State Park on this trip. We have stayed here in the past. We highly recommend Site 125. It's up on the hill overlooking the lake. It's a little bit by itself, so you don't have to feel crowded in with your neighbors. The group site is kind of uh, to the back to the side, but there's not always anybody camping in that one. So I definitely recommend this one. It's not level, um, but again, like none of the sites here are level, uh, but it is sort of off by itself. So it does give you a little bit of extra space to move around and camp in. Even though the beach itself is pretty small, one of the new features this summer is a little water park, water slide type contraption out in the lake that's specifically here for the state park. Uh, but I did see the sign that says, I think it is open to Harrison residents as long as you have a state park sticker. Uh, but it does cost money, so it's not free to use at the beach. It's I didn't catch the pricing, but it is a pay to play kind of uh, thing. But it looked really cool, and I could see that that would provide some pretty good entertainment, especially probably for the, the middle and teenage age folks if, that were camping here. Mm -hmm. Uh, the beach, they acknowledged, is not ADA accessible, but they're working on it. Correct, said. yes. Uh, working on putting a ramp or, or sort of a boardwalk or something down there. And they are going to be getting a couple of the Moby wheelchairs, which, yep. um, which we found at other state parks are starting to get those. So that's kind of nice to help folks with, with mobility issues to help to get around the, uh, the campground in the park. Wilson State Park got its name because it is on the site of the former Wilson Brothers Sawmill Company that thrived here in the 1800s. Um, it, at some point when it closed, it was turned over to the city of Harrison, who then eventually sold it to the state of Michigan to be used as a state park. The park was officially dedicated in 1927, and as we've seen in other parks, uh, many of the original buildings were built by the CCC in the 1940s era. Only a few of them are still standing, but again, that is something that is you know part of Michigan's history, and especially our state park history. Yeah, so it's a place, you know, Depending on what you're going to do, if you're in the area for other things or if you're on your way somewhere, this this park might work for you as a campground to kind of stop over. Some people clearly come here regularly. I think they were pretty full over Memorial Day yeah. weekend. Um, I think Bud Lake draws people in. There's, you know, boating there, paddle sports is known for that. One thing that's interesting is they do allow metal detecting in parts of this state park. And a lot of state parks don't allow that. So that's something if you're into that and have the equipment, maybe bring it with you and try your hand here. 
So if you are coming to Harrison as a destination, maybe for something going on at the fairgrounds or you're just looking for a place to stop over on your way further north into northern Michigan or the Upper Peninsula, Wilson State Park might be the place for you to check out. And the best part is right down the street within walking distance is Wall Ravens Gardens and Fruit Market and they have the best ice cream. So definitely make a stop there. Do you stand by your recommendation? <laughs>